All right, another game here. I am playing Omnath versus Azuri, the, the renegade leader. Mono green on mono green. I had to mulligan an unplayable first hand with no lands into this, which is very impressive hand, even going second. Eventful yet. Three mana. Elvish Visionary. Glade covers Scout. This is pure elves. There's Omnath. Put that out there. So now he plays a very makes a relatively odd play. Winter Orb against the guy with only two land out. He's playing mono green with an Elvish Mystic. And it's, it's actually better than me, like better against me right now than, than you'd normally expect. Um, given the fact that my hand is actually kind of clunky. But still, kind of a strange choice to play in a deck with uh, Zuri, given that you want to uh, use this ability as much as possible to make your little dorks useful. Draw a heath, but now we're going to play the Cradle. Just going to send him in here. I suppose I could have... Uh, could have just run with the giant Nin plan. Or Omnath plan, I mean. He's about to show me why he was so eager to cast Winter Orb. Because he proudly throws down his sword of feast and famine. <laughs> it all makes sense now. Uh, and I've got hexproof pro green dude in play that untaps all of his lands under Winter Orb. Oh, yeah, and makes me discard too. So I'm going to throw away this useless cultivate. I have a lot of mana in my pool. And Bow of Nalia. Plus one, plus one on your guys. And gives them Death Touch. I'm glad I'm not playing any flyers. I guess I have one flyer in the deck. Or two. <laughs> Got the Hellkite, too. All right. Well, we're falling quickly into a hole here. Obviously, my deck hates to play against this. I've got to just empty my hand here. Because I can't do anything to stop that. I can send him in. It's just chumps, which is nice. And here I make an extremely stupid mistake. Seven, right? Six man in my pool. I'll cast Mind Slaver. And kill my commander, like an idiot. Oh god, I hate doing that. Shows how out of practice I am with the Omnath deck. I haven't been using it for months because of the, uh, the bug where Omnath didn't gain any power or toughness from man in your pool. And that definitely shows right there. I think I would have preferred to have my Omnath in play and one more tap land. But, oh well. He says, odd play. <laughs> yeah, definitely. Stupid more like. Strangle root guys. That's fine, whatever. I can cast this guy. Alright, so my plan is this Mind Slaver is going to be decisive here. What's cool is that is that Azuri actually can regenerate my guys, too, and I have two elves in play, so I can use Azuri to keep my guys alive while running his guys into my own, which is pretty cool. Still going to use the Cradle. Birthing Pod, very interesting top deck right there. Just going to use that little trick to play my forest. These two are quite a Mondo combo against Win Orb. It goes all the way back to Five color green from back in the uh, Mirage Visions days. Got about like, I don't know, 17, 16, 17 years ago. These two cards have been comboed together. Ooh, Omnath comes back out. I'm just going to do this right now. Sacking Omnath four to go get. Anti Sword of Fire and Ice Guy. This is especially good too, given that he's got three land taps, and it pretty much shuts off the bow as well. He's going to. I'm sure think he's going to use the bow at the end of the turn, but that's not going to happen. So he thinks about it, he even taps it, and then he goes, oh, no, I don't think I want to be all tapped out, just to put a plus one, plus one counter on. So this thing effectively killed two artifacts, which is extremely awesome. So I'm feeling actually a lot more comfortable, and now his winner orb decision looks quite bad. Uh, as it should. You're squishing. Sorry. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> you wanted to sit in my lap while I'm doing this. Okay, so nothing going on here. Still got Gaia's, Gaia's Cradle, which is like How totally many insane. How are you at? I'm at 20 right now. Nature's Claim as well. You're at 20 right now? I really 
wanting to kill the winter orb off. So I'm going to do that trick again. And I'm going to use the slave ramen. So now I've got it all set up. Basically on his turn, he's going to regenerate both my elves, and he's going to run this guy and this guy and this guy into my position and tap all of his own lands under Winter Orb. And he has Sclash Spider in his hand. He draws Asceticism. So I'm claiming away the bow. Because I don't want his guys to have Death Touch, obviously. Is that your and Just death? like that, he says, good game, gotta go. Or in other words, this is good game, I'm now losing badly, and uh, it was fun. The, is this your deck? Mm, no, the bottom one is his deck, the top one is mine. So yeah, the play here definitely would have been regenerate Elvish Mystic and Queer and Ranger, attack, tap all your land, and attack with these three guys. And his lord would die, and both of his elves would die. And he'd have a 2-1 in play versus my board, and Omnath would come back down with Birthing Pot on the table. And that would be game in short order. Anyway, pretty awesome little quick game. Are you playing and, a uh, lot of new More cards Omnath. or dumb cards? No, not dumb cards. They're good. Like that boulder one? It's not a boulder. That's a forest. Like that forest one? Yeah. Why do you think that's dumb? All right, see you later.